Grand Rising is Shay Seeking and welcome back to the channel. Um, today we're going to go a little bit more deeper into this realm of this whole like um, caste system. Okay, because I feel like um, the whole thing with the uh, caste system is basically um, slavery or something like it under a different term or name. So I think that this is a more um, like, I feel like all we do is talk about race and whenever you start talking about race in that sense, it brings people automatically into their emotions where we can't go ahead and dissect the subject and look at it for what it is because everybody's trying to, um, push the fact that, um, hmm. They're trying to clear their name or trying to prove something when it comes to slavery, okay? So we all know that um, on this channel, we um, use the uh, biblical text and we use um, his story right along with it because we are using a theory um, when we're doing our research or seeking or studying that the Bible is not as old as you think it is and that we may be actually talking about um, historical events that had not, that had happened long ago combined with some things that happened up until maybe like the 1800s um, or so. Um, and then prophecy, again, one may say, what is prophecy? And I look at it as, prof is it prophecy or is it a plan? Because the way that this um, uh, system works is it uh, comes in um, in, in in many different names under diff many different names right and it also um, affects people this I mean it, it comes under different names but it all the structure remains the same we'll put it like that okay so when we're talking about this whole temple you see this pyramid here we can look at that when we're talking about the Illuminati, so-called. We can look at that when we're talking about the dollar bill, um, how they have the uh, pyramid there. Uh, we could also look at it when we're talking about um, the uh, caste system in India. We can also look at this when we're talking about the um, uh, United States Incorporated and the people. Okay, so um, again... We're not religious. We're not trying to indoctrinate you or anything like that. We're just basically bringing forth information that has been found that I think that with, along with this way of thinking in the word, the book that you we think they use to enslave us may very well be the book that you can use to free yourself mentally. And once you do that, everything else will follow. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and basically bring forth a couple of things that um, point me in the direction of the biblical aspect. So a lot of people that are angry with the Bible and see it as something that is more religious, we have to learn how to separate the religion from the book, right? Okay, religion is man-made. The book was printed by man, although it still is a story that has been around for a long time, okay? Okay. Um, longer than any of your history books that you have in your schools that are government run and funded and that um, have certain people that print the books. And that's kind of like the information that they choose to put in is the information that you're going to get. It may not be the truth. Some of it may be theory, but you're, it's spoken to you and taught to you as if it is the truth or real. And you are to memorize it and regurgitate it and keep doing that over and over again for generation after generation instead of digging a little bit de deeper so that we can get to something uh, of substance, okay? So let's go ahead and go into this. Before we start, we'll just go back because I like to just be very thorough. So a lot of people think it might be repetitive, but I just like to go a little bit deeper um, in the video so that we can kind of see um, what we're really dealing with here. Now, in the words of the BBC News here, it says the caste system divides Hindus into four main categories. Here are the four categories. I know the Brahmins. Um, I don't know how to pronounce this one. And then this one is like the Vishas or something. And then you have your Shudras, okay? And many believe that the group originated from the Brahma, okay? Um, 
the Hindu God of creation. Okay. So it, it, automatically when I'm reading that, I'm already thinking the God of creation. Wait a minute. Okay. So one may think there's different gods and everything, but again, um, there's usually only one tip of the pyramid and then everything else that falls under works for that what is which is over i believe the pyramid okay and we'll talk about that in a minute so if we're talking about the hindu god of creation and then we go back to the god of creation in the biblical text and then we see how this god in this text um first thing he wants to do is cause a separation of something because he wants to um in the beginning he wanted to uh create the heaven and the earth Okay, and then while we're talking about this, okay, and we'll, we'll notice that the God of the Bible also uh, did something with four different uh, branches or rivers or whatnot, okay, or heads, okay, or whatnot, okay. So, um, let's see. Okay, let's see, let's see. If we can find... Um, Okay, so let's see if we can find something. Okay. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. Right there, he's already creating something here and something there. Now, we can look at it as if the heaven, um, in my eyes, from all of the things that I have seen so, for, so far, and because I do go against the grain, um, that basically means to me, the heavens and the earth is basically, um, when I look at etymology, the heavens is just the house of God and the earth, um, is talking about the land sometimes, but it's also talking about the earliest inhabitants or the inhabitants of the land that is there. Okay. And then it says, now the earth was formless and void and darkness was on the face of the deep. This brings me back to, because I'm on parallel thinking, I use parallel Bibles and I just, I'm able to see that way. I do parallel viewing when I'm watching movies. So I'm watching it at the level where everyone else is watching it. But there's also a higher level of thinking that is going on that follows me along the course of the movie and points out other things that are more spiritual or subliminal or things like this. Okay. So I'm able to... I'm able to see it at one time and it brings all the information to me and then I try to decipher it, okay? Or use it in my studies as well, okay? So <clears throat> the earth was formless and void. So this is to tell me that now since I know that um, the first peoples of America, more than likely, some or most of them were dark-skinned people that look like so-called African Americans today, but they were actually the Aborigines or the original or the earliest inhabitants of the Americas. And they were the people that were here prior to 1492 or any type of uh, colonization. Okay, so um, now not to admit, not to say that people weren't already coming here and planting their seeds and doing things like this, but I'm just saying that that was what was going on. But we've been led um, astray by people telling us that the slave trade happened and millions of so-called black people were brought in from Africa. Hence, we have to be African American today, and no one else, even the Africans, called themselves African anything. Okay, so again, the whole thing about the Americas, yes, race has been a benefactor that they have used over the years in order to um, use the people against each other at the bottom. But on the top of things, it doesn't matter what color you are. It's about who you are, what bloodline you came from, and your heredity, just like it does to them. Okay, so um, when we're looking at this in this matter, they know that race is not going to get us anywhere because we're going to just go back and forth and argue back and forth about it. But once we start talking about this as a caste system, all of those people that are maybe um, more sensitive or they have not put their feelings aside yet, um, along with other people, it's easier to kind of talk about this and bring it up so that it is a fair game, basically. So I'm still going to talk about the fact that, yes, the so-called black people or the American Indians, okay, here in Americas, have been treated and dealt with worse than anyone else because we are the originals. We are we have descended from the originals. But again, now that this awakening and lightning thing is going on, um, we are now starting to ascend, and that's going to be a problem for them. Okay, so um, when we're looking at this. 
race is a factor, but it is not the main thing that's going to get us out of this. And it's not the reason why they treat us the way that they do. Okay. It is about who you are. Okay. And who you've come from. Okay. Um, so again, that was, that's what was going on. I feel like that's what we're talking about. Okay. And I've done the study on this for about six years. I'm just now coming out and talking to people about it. Um, and just basically dropping information and, you know, um, sharing. Okay. So again, in, in my eyes, after doing extensive research, that's what we're talking about. And it says darkness was on the face of the deep. And again, in a sense, I feel like, cause a lot of this stuff is, uh, uh, what do you call it? Um, a lot of this stuff is symbolic or, um, there's symbolism and all kind of things being used when we're talking about this text in this Bible. OK, um, but once you match it up with history, then there's no way to keep saying that that's not maybe what we're talking about. OK, so again, darkness was on the face of the deep. That means that it was a whole bunch of niggers, <laughs> possibly, you know, um, I, like I said, I'm not saying they were the only ones here, but I'm just saying there was a whole bunch of them here. OK, uh, all throughout the whole landmass. That's uh, possibly Canada, North America, South America, uh, Mexico, um, the islands, the whole thing. OK, so um, the spirit of God was hovering over the surface of the waters. OK, so the spirit of God was hovering over um, the and now this brings me back to the breath. <laughs> but anyway, we won't go there. OK, so um, again, uh, over the um, surface of the waters. OK, and then he said, let there be light. And there was light and he saw it was good. And God separated the light from the darkness. Um, God. God called the light day and the darkness night. So even if we look at this in a different way and we're just saying, okay, how they call um, so-called white people white and they call so-called black people black, but they're not white and we're not black if you look at us. But again, it's never been really about the skin color. It's about something else, okay? So um, we're talking about this and then when we say, and God said, let there be an expanse, or to, for them to expand or multiply or whatever, uh, between the waters. Mm -hmm. And the waters is basically representing, it can be representing water. But if you use common sense and discernment and uh, wisdom, it can also tell you that we may be talking about people that come here from the waters, okay? So then when you separate, um, it says being between the waters to separate the waters from the waters. So there's gonna have to be some waters that stay above Okay, the firmament, and then there's going to be some that are below. Okay, now um, when we're talking about the ones that are below, they can have different uh, activities and jobs that they represent or do. Um, and then when we're talking about the ones above, those are the ones that are up, put on high. Okay, kind of like when we look at the interpretation, I mean, when we look at the definition of sky um, in etymology, it's basically something about in the clouds or on high. OK, so we look at our celebrities, we look at our politicians in that way. We look at a lot of other people in that way. But then also those are at the top of the pyramid. But then once you go down, you're also going to start seeing um, your uh, uh, goodness, the people that deal in your merchants and all of the business people. Um, and then you're going to go ahead and come down and you're going to see like the dirty work, the farmers and the um, sharecroppers and the. Uh, uh, the farmers, the sharecroppers, and all of the people that dealt with the earth, okay? And then you're going to go ahead and go down, and then, again, this is the same thing, y'all, okay? Um, a lot of people um, came from the waters in all different arrays of colors and, and different so-called races or whatnot, okay? So there was all kind of people that, um, that came in the waters. Um, I'll just call them Eurafrasians um, because they came from those particular places over there, um, which is one continent in my eyes. But again, we we're told that they're separate. Okay, so um, so God made this. Uh, okay, um, separate the waters from the waters, and it was so. And God called the expanse the sky. Again, okay. So we could get confused with this, but. If, Again, it, it has to be a little bit deeper than this. Um, this is someone that had not studied and broken down. If you just read it right here on the surface and you don't go any deeper. I'm someone that goes deep, so it means a little bit more to me because I've done a lot of studies on it, okay?
And God said, let the waters under the sky gather together in one place and let the dry land appear. Okay, so anyway, we're getting off a uh, subject. Let's go back to the caste system, okay? So again, I'm, I'm just trying to show you how um, the God of the Bible was also doing something that's similar to what the caste system was doing, okay? I'm sorry if I'm speaking kind of fast, but I'm trying to get through this video in enough time where I'm not holding you guys over. Um, again, you know how long the videos can be. Okay, so we see this one up here. Peninsulares, um, the Spaniards born in Spain, uh, in Spain. Now, I was just reading something else about the caste system, and it said something about um, being also something that the um, shoot that the Spanish dabbled in. But maybe it's on a different page. Okay. Oh, maybe it's here too. Okay, so we'll, we'll just look real quick. Let's look at what I was looking at over here. So I can just show you guys a couple of pointers to show you kind of like where I'm coming from. Okay, so you have the Creoles born in Spain of Spanish parents. Okay, and then you have born of Spanish and Native American Indian parents, the Mestizos. And then you have your Native Americans. Okay, and then you have your enslaved persons. And they made sure to put brought from Africa. But, of course, now we know that they only brought 250,000 or so, mainly young men and boys, over here from Africa um, in the uh, during the entire slave trade into the North America. Okay? So, again, there was never millions, like they said. That was a lie. Again, we're finding out by doing our own research, you can believe it or not, that a lot of people were already here. Okay? And that the uh, Aborigines of America don't look like the Indians of America um, because they are, the Indians are not the originals. And the same thing here, like I have this book pulled up um, that says these may plunder uh, Hindostan of her riches and American Aborigines of their lands. So this book is old as hell and it's saying that the American Aborigines are the ones that had their land stolen. So if that's the case, then I want to be, and I'm claiming to be something here in the Americas and say that I was here before, then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to choose to be an American Aborigine because that is who the land was stolen back. They can have their reparations. I want my shit back. Okay? So. Um, and then we'll go through and do a little thing on the Aborigine. Okay? They're going to try to get you with those petty pennies. But, again, it, 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 we're, we are, uh, I'm, I don't want to sell myself out. And um, all that has been done, I want more. Again, and it's not even financial gain all the way that I'm talking about. You know, everybody thinks differently. Everybody wants their own. First, I want you to go ahead and release the documents and the information to tell us who and what and why. Then we can talk about land. And then we can talk about these things and that, those things. Okay? Because they know exactly who you are. So Aborigine, a person, animal, plant that has been in a country or a uh, region from the earliest time. Mistaken singular Aborigines from uh, 1540. Aboriginal is considered the correct singular in English from the Latin Aborigines, the first inhabitants, okay? Especially whatever the Latium, no, the Latium. Uh, hence, the first ancestors of the Romans, okay? Um, possibly a tribal name, okay? Possibly, okay? Uh, phrase ab origine which literally means from the beginning this is from ab the ab meanings off or away that is you being put in exile in your own land okay so you've been taken away from being an origine but in all in all that's the oldest term to go back to because it still means that somebody owes you something because your title was taken away and um your land as well okay along with uh, the beginning source, a uh, descent or the lineage, okay? Um, okay, descend, receive life, uh, colonize. Okay, so it says um, extended uh, 1789, which is when we got our first president here in the America, so-called, um, our so-called first president, okay? Um, to natives of the other countries which Europeans have colonized, especially the Aborigines. Okay, so... And again, natives don't. Mom, come see your wedding. 